What's up, what's up guys, your boy Z with another video and today we're gonna talk about Destiny 2, the final shape. If you guys didn't know about me, I used to be a big fan of Destiny. Destiny 1, I beat the thing, I went end game, I did everything. Destiny 2 kind of fell off for me and that's what we're talking about here. This is the final shape, supposed to be the last big update for Destiny. And they did some crazy stuff where you guys see the uh, trailer and the... Gameplay you're seeing right now is insane. And this is a dev update video live stream. I don't know, it wasn't live stream, it was uh, premiered. 20 minute diamond of what to expect on the final shape. So I'm excited for this. I will be diving in this game when it releases. Um, I did try last update, I believe. So it's in my channel somewhere. But, we are going but I am ready to dive in. So I'm not going to touch this. I'm just going to let it through. I'm not going to pause it. I'm just going to let them talk. We're going to talk over it and stuff like that. And um, I'll cut there here and there. But I won't speed it up. You know, I'm just going to check what it is. That looks sick. Um, concept art. So it's a concept art. So basically the, the objective is, I believe, is combining two powers in one. At the same time. Which is insane. Exactly I mean, they had to create. One thing they have to do is create new powers and um, new enemies. That's two things that um, I think would happen when from together. Destiny One, Destiny Two, it got too stale. No one's done that before. Like the witnesses. So I'm hoping that like there's some changes here and we'd be able to like digest one thing into another. And like I said, it looks insane. And uh, I don't know if they have weapons here showing. So we might have to wait to see. Damage with either light damage or I mean, the world damage. looks different. Looks new. Sides of the new All right, grenades, prep. So we do full. have. You get this new level of power. So level you get to level up your power depending what you use. You do either um dark well, or light. Cool, like mystic pose. Hunters are gonna do this cool, like. All right, all right. That is, that's just crazy wow, right there. That's what I'm trying to say when it comes to these games, man. You just never know. Both light and dark together. The hunters get this fire and ice combo. The trailer and the gameplay was when they edited it looks so good, but let's see when it comes out, man. Let's see when it comes out. You have a weapon damage bonus that stacks on top of other weapon damage bonuses. Your grenade and melee are both instantly refunded when you cast Transcendence, so you can loop them together. Oh, the see, see, that's what I'm looking for. That's really exciting. I don't think they invited any big stream. I think they did it themselves. A lot of companies stopped doing that, inviting, like, um, content creators and stuff like that to try out their games. More crafting options, more potential combinations, more fragments than you normally get. More fragment slots to socket them than you normally get. I wonder what I'm going to go with. I usually always go with Hunter. But Warlock always been the OP one from all three. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just the art director. I think that prismatic feels like you are doing combinations. Yeah, it, yo. Really and I said this before when I played I Destiny 2, the last uh, thing they did. I was like, I wish I could like combine the old one with this one. It would look so sick and they're doing it now. You're going to be like, oh no, what have I done? I'm going to be here all night. All right, so we get to see some gameplay here. Is it, is it? Oh no, it's the same, same enemies. I know. Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, that's new. Ha! That's new. It's not just about the mastery of light and dark. It's not just about using multi powers at the same time. It's about figuring out how they work in concert in really interesting ways. We're All right. Sending kind of the, the is she new here? I don't artists. remember her being the anything All lead. I think they they hired her for this for the final shape. And now we can finally combine those. This place looks familiar though. Own guardian feel very unique. From a Destiny new. one. This like I really think. opens up the doors for unexpected, like really wild stuff. I love um, being a hunter and having gunpowder gamble. Uh huh. Uh huh. Blowing them up, and then we're like, oh, wait, wait, wait. What if you could? slow enemies you could throw out yeah yeah that's what i mean though so you could do that with melee um with okay. grenades and all that I didn't think which I is kind of crazy to think about it and you're telling me i can do as much as i want you can throw a withering blade melee you're back oh, of course a bunch of 
people and get like three kills from one melee and does it supposed to come out some charge, like right? summer so, like certain or fall I think get a lot easier uh, they keep changing the dates i mean the they're gonna perfect the might as well right permissive a little bit a little bit looser maybe the end of this video they'll tell us so the Renati. <laughs> probably gonna be running probably warlock uh, with um the, the lightning surge build where you have arcane needle for three melee charges and then you combine that with that's just surge. crazy you bleak watcher on top of that my concern like oh my oh what i'm trying to see is mostly power. weapons and so you're you know jumping in lightning surge are we getting new style weapons or just the same ones as we always have that gives you infinite sustain effectively to stay in the fight as a titan you can just quickly start using your arc abilities to jolt all the enemies around you and then kind of finish them off with like the cool blades of strand and it's so satisfying to see how fast you move it's a very like fun yeah destructive Let's go that you can just like destroy everything around you and it, it, it's super fun there was this moment for me where i was like wait a minute i could send out threadlings and have a bleak watcher it just creates these moments we're gonna create crazy uh, comp watch really it exciting. and you're gonna hear this now if watch it when it released watcher, people gonna have an op void. class to combine you two stuff that everybody's gonna use it's gonna be so stupid on pvp so if, you know, and then on pve watch doing crowd control you can clean that stuff up it always happens though with, you know an arcane needle melee which has three charges those ability kills will activate devour which gives There's you this look look at this already he's one shotting everything activates, so let's you loop your bleak watcher and so you can have like multiple bleak watchers out on the field freezing stuff oh my god there. you're just like so you you regenerate your your out, things too so fast dying, it's great. <laughs> embracing the challenge of like how do we make stuff that wasn't initially intended to like work together in the same build like how do we twist them and warp them and push and pull this and that to make them work together? I'm excited about, you know, seeing uh, all the players like talk about their favorite combinations. I'm just looking forward to all the, the videos that people make of their own custom builds. Yeah, that exactly what I'm saying. Up with Which everybody would be like so this, creative and crazy build. about it. It feels infinite to me. Creating their own custom uh, build and, and stuff like that. I'm really excited about that. He's going to have a lot of content creators too. Is this like a strike? Oh, this is part of the mission, probably. Hmm. That's a Titan. Yeah, it's a Titan. I was gonna say, is that a Titan? For, uh, it's like I never played the game. Ooh, hammer. Oh, wait, who's this? This is a new boss right here. Right? Am I, am, I'm not crazy, right? That's a, that's a new boss. I've never seen that boss before. Tempest, you be beloved? I've never seen that before. Oh, that looks sick. Shape, we're gonna be making these new no. class items. That looks these crazy. New class items allow you to steal perks from other exotics and combine two perks together into one. See what I mean? Now, now they're thinking outside the box. Not only. One do you get be uh, to combine like two grenades and two ultimates from Night and Dark? You can do that with perks? That really well. Exotic perks, obviously, but what? That looks badass. These new class items are all about prismatic and making. Yeah, they're that doing prismatic. Feel good. So it's going to be all about enhancing your builds and your combination of black Oh my god, you're going to we're going to get so many crazy builds, crit builds, regen builds. So oh my god. With these class items, we wanted them to stand out as special. They have Oh, they're standing out, right? That take aspects from other exotics. Exotic class items are going to let you do things that other classes consider their own, but now they're yours. 
Spear of the Assassin, Spear of the Sims. I don't remember any of them. I haven't played this game like a long time, so. So Powered Melee Kills caused any. This all be like kind of new to me when I play it. Get an extra dodge charge so I can do an extra slow charge on enemies at the same time. We want it to feel a little broken. A little broken? You sure? It definitely felt like I had two exotics on my cloak, which is kind of the intention. We want that to somebody like and I mean somebody's gonna find a crazy broken class to combine it just opens up the space for mix and matching in a way that I think is gonna just be fun to see what combinations people find and like and what becomes the meta oh what oh, the bow's back amazing they have visual effects that activate when you are transcendent it just really ties into this overall theme but on top of that the gameplay with basically stealing exotic traits from other exotics and even yeah, that's gonna be crazy but what kind of exotic though gonna be any any exotic spice to them and the fact that it's random rolls you're going to want to keep looking for the right one for your builds oh it's probably only for the ones that release right not stuff that you have found already What's this? The eclipse? You know we just had that? What the fuck? Omen. The witness? What the f <laughs> What was that? Wait, the dread are this new witness faction. Oh? When you see these new characters, not only do they look unique and new. Yeah, these are new enemies. See, like a through line. Oh, really wow. That connects it all together. They finally doing something crazy and, and you've different. You've seen a member of the Dread before. You might remember seeing the Tormentor make a big appearance last year. Well, that was just the first one. You have like this slate of new enemies with like the Tormentor and the Subjugators and the. Oh, I remember the Tormentor and the though. And the Wasn't that in last update? This is like the embodiment of the witness in these new enemies. I could have sworn I remember these enemies. The Grim is probably one of my favorite new enemies that we have in Destiny. I think it's a poster child of the Dread in some ways. It's this battle. Yeah, we have more annoying stuff yes, flying exactly. around. I get it. <laughs> it does a scream and it swoops all around the battlefield. Oh. It's a profile we've never seen in Destiny. You are facing now the first flying character with actual wings. Yeah, th they can we have flying stuff, but this one is just attacking like crazy, though. It also slows you down. I don't think this is the first time we dealt with it, right? I don't remember. I remember something. I just think we have to do this. We have to make this character. Of course. Of course. The husk is this melee bruiser who has these incredibly dangerous-looking blades. You know what it is, though? Cool I feel like attacks. some of these enemies does the same thing as the other ones. It's just reskin them. They hurt. They That's what I keep saying about most of these enemies. Weapons, and they just come charging with those things and will just slice and dice. Like, I've seen they those moves. They, they, they had it there before. Especially in groups. Oh, you're dead. If you manage to kill the husk, you have to be careful. Because if you kill it the wrong way, what's inside of the husk? The geist is going to pop out and it's going to seek you out. Okay. Have killed me more than I to admit. Oh. Now I'm like looking everywhere every time I go into a fight and I'm like, is there a husk somewhere? Is there a husk somewhere? Because I'm targeting that first. <laughs> this look like oh my the god, I'm telling you, all these enemies I've seen before are just reskin. And stasis scions that have been reshaped by the witness. Yeah, it's just what it is, a scion. Like the influence of darkness powers on these characters. They have a stasis ability that can shoot at you that will freeze you. They have a strand ability that will pull you across the battlefield. So it was reshaped the by the by the frozen in witness. That's what it's calling it. Dynamic to the fight. Yeah, same. Yeah, nothing new. No. Never done before. It'll shoot out 
this complete powerful strand wave. If that thing hits you, the thing is that it's already in the system, pulls back, so they could just reuse and like snaps, and just reskin, and like I guess, right? That character. I don't agree with it. I don't know. As one character doing that to you, yeah, you can handle it. As soon as there's multiple characters trying to pull you in different directions towards you, you have to approach it in a different way. Broken I'm really deep. excited about everything that we've been doing for the final shape. It just feels like there's a really cool through line. I just want nothing to like the missions and everything not to be stale. Of the Guardian's journey over the last ten years, we wanted to deliver something that's really like fun and exciting. Oh, that's crazy! It's been it's been ten years, or a, a little bit more than ten years. This initial inspiration. I forgot that Destiny came out like early 2010. To become a reality in the final shape. Got a cutscene. The witness brought darkness into the traveler to turn their threat into our annihilation. Oh. Prismatic. Something's changed in the Guardian. New power. I can feel it. Oh, so this is actually the trailer for the prismatic um, powers. That is crazy. The warlock looks insane, though. Oh, my God. Uh, the Titan just look like a fucking Halo character. Holy shit. Oh, here we go. Final shape. Your own fate. Oh, so June 4th. Oh, shit. Here we go. Pre-order instantly unlocked. Okay. There we go. <laughs> of course. Into the light? Oh. The final shape approaches. Oh, this is a premiere trailer. Witness surge at the borders of the city. Lord Shax has been so what we saw wasn't a trailer. This is the trailer. Banned weapons from his personal collection back into circulation. Joe Fanfare weapons, the brave arsenal. Okay. Onslaught, no defense activity. Michael the Mount. What? Weapons we once deemed heretical. We now see his desperate measures. I know you'll use this Last furnace. Fight well. That's our arms. Just giving us weapons that hope new class is coming. I can't wait to see what you do with that. Late. Magnificent. Hmm. Nice. LMG. Exotic missions, new secrets, the whisper. New challenges, zero hour. Whisper of Oh! Wait, this looks familiar! I forgot the name of that. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Exotic grind starts soon. Let's give them war. Stand. And fight. I think that was a strike. Pre-order. Into the light. Fortnite. Available players. Fortnite 6.3. Super black. All new shader. Oh. 
Let's fucking go. Thank you guys for watching me. Show sure you like, subscribe. Let me know down below what you guys think as always. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.